Grade 5 Math number 46, Division Patterns with Decimals. I have a little review for you so that we don't get caught up when I'm trying to explain this. An exponent is a tiny number on the upper right hand side of a base number that tells us how many times to multiply the base to itself. So the 10 is the base and the little 3 is the exponent. It's the power of 10. Okay. So that means we're going to do 10 times 10 times 10. It's how many times we're going to multiply the base to itself, right? So the other thing we need to remember is that 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Now, if you don't understand any of this, you need to go back to the grade 5 math number 4 uh, videos for powers of 10 and exponents. And if you watch the video number 5, it will fully explain the 0 power rule and why it equals 1, okay? So... That means that place value patterns can help us place a decimal point in a quotient. Whatever works for one will probably work for the next one, right? So if we take a look at these, we have 230 times 1 is 230. 230 divided by 1 is 230. Because so it's divided into 1, right? 230 times 10 is 2,300. We've now added a 0. 230 divided by 10 is going to take away a 0. It's going to just be 23. So the decimal point was on this side of the 0. Now the 0 is gone because we divided by 10. We took a 0 away. 230 times 100 is 23,000. 230 divided by 100 is 2 and 3 tenths. Now that we took away the two zeros, we're taking away two decimal points, see? And now the decimal point's in between the two and the three. 230 times 1,000 is 230,000. 230 divided by 1,000 is 23 hundredths. There's three zeros there that we divided by, so we're now moving over three spots, see? As we divide by increasing powers of 10, the quotient moves farther into the decimal place values, doesn't it? As we multiply by powers of 10, the quotient moves farther into the whole number's place value. So here it was moving farther into the place values, and here it was moving farther into the whole numbers, right? Getting bigger and bigger whole numbers, getting bigger and bigger decimal numbers, okay? We can use exponents to help us put a decimal point in a quotient. 230 divided by 10 to the 0 power is 230, because 10 to the 0 power is 1, right? 230 divided by 10 to the first power is 23. First power means we're going to hop once. The decimal point's going to go from over here behind the 230 to now it's behind the 3. 230 divided by 10 to the second power means it's going to hop two times from behind where the 0 was to behind the 3 and now in between the 2 and the 3. Same thing with the power with 10 to the third power, it's going to hop three times. It was back behind the zero, and it went one, two, and now it's in front of the two. And 230 divided by 10 to the fourth power is going to jump four times, and now we had to put a zero as a placeholder there, didn't we? Do you see the pattern? Power of four, jump four. Power of three, jump three. Dividing by 10 is exactly the same thing as multiplying by one-tenth, or finding the tenth of a number. The more we divide by the powers of 10, the further we move into decimal values. Okay? So here's some more examples. 147 divided by 1 is 147. 147 divided by 10, the decimal place now moves between the 4 and the 7. Dividing by 100, the decimal place moves in between the 1 and the 4. Dividing by 1,000, it's now in front of the 1. Dividing by 10,000, we now had to put a 0 placeholder so that it could go in front of the zero. When we're doing the powers of 10 and exponents, 10 to the zero is equal to 1, so 268 divided by 1 is 268. To the first power, the decimal point moved the one spot from behind the 8 to in between the 6 and the 8. To the second power, it moved 1, 2, in between the 2 and the 6. To the third power, it's now moved 1, 2, 3, and now it's in front of the 2. And to the fourth power, it forced us to put a zero placeholder so that it could go in front of the, the zero, okay? So, if you can remember that the power of 10, the exponent, tells the number of hops to do, 
you should be able to do this. Can you answer these with me? It's 10 to the second power. So how many hops are we going to make? It tells us right there, too. So if we hop one time, two time, that means our answer is 0.92. Isn't that easy? All right. 10 to the second power. How many hops are we going to make? If you said two, you're right. So we're going to go hop once, hop twice. And now our answer is 0.5781. How about this one? 325 and 4 tenths divided by 10 to the third power. Third power tells us how many hops to make. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So now our answer is 0.3. Two, five, four. How about this one? This one's also 10 to the third. We're going to hop three times. One, two, three. So our answer, that's a big decimal, isn't it? Point six seven three one seven. And if it had said 10 to the fourth here, we would have hopped another time and we would have put a zero there, wouldn't we? And if it said 5, we would have hopped another time and put two zeros there, okay? So, we can use patterns when we're dividing decimals that'll help us to put the decimal point into the quotient. And just remember what the exponents mean so that when you do them in your homework, you can remember. Whatever the exponent is, the power of 10 tells you how many hops to make, all right? Hopefully, this was helpful to you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.